Good morning and welcome to Grace Church Cathedral. This is morning prayer for Friday, March the 3rd. Morning prayer begins on page 79. Jesus said, if anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God. We confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done, and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us, and forgive us, that we may delight in your will, and walk in your ways, for the glory of your name. God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, and will be forever. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Come, let us adore him. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us sing before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with songs. For the Lord is a great God and a great king among all of us. In his hand are the kingdoms of the earth, and the highest of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee. And kneel before the Lord our Maker, for He is our God, and we are the people of His pasture and as the people of His hand. Oh, let today be a part to His voice. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Oh, um, let us adore Him. Psalms of points this morning are Psalms 40 and 54. I waited patiently upon the Lord. He stooped to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the desolate pit, out of the fire and clay. He set my feet upon a high cliff and made my footing sure. He put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many shall see and stand in awe and put their trust in the Lord. Happy are they who trust in the Lord. They do not resort to evil spirits or turn to false gods. Great things are they that you have done, O Lord of my God. Great are your wonders and your plans for us. There is none who can be compared with you. Oh, that I might make them known and tell them, them when they are more than I can count. In sacrifice and offering, you take no pleasure. You have given me ears to hear you. Birth offerings and offering you have not required. And so I said, Behold, I am. In the roll of the book, it is written concerning me. I love to do your will, O oh my God. Your law is deep in my heart. I, I proclaim righteousness in the great congregation. Behold, I do not restrain my lips, and I have the Lord you have. Your righteousness have I not hidden in my heart. I have spoken of your faithfulness and your deliverance. I have not concealed your love and faithfulness from the great congregation. You are the Lord. Do not withhold your compassion from me. Let your love and your faithfulness see me stay forever. For innumerable troubles have crowded upon me. My sins have overtaken me, and I cannot see. They are more in number than the hairs of my head, and my heart fails me. Be pleased, O Lord, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let them be ashamed and altogether dismayed. Seek after my life to destroy it. Let them draw back and be disgraced. You take pleasure in my misfortune. Let those who say, Aha, you may no longer be confounded because they are ashamed. Let all who seek you rejoice in you and be glad. Let those who love your salvation continually say, Great is the Lord. Though I am poor and afflicted, the Lord will have regard to me. You are my helper and my deliverer. Do not tarry, my God. Save me. Save me, O Zion, by your name, in your might, and in my cause. Hear my prayer, O God. Give ear to the words of my mouth. For the arrogant have risen up against me, and the ruthless have sought my life, those who have no regard for God. 
Behold, God is my helper. It is the Lord who sustains my life. Render, Render evil, evil to those, those who spy on me. In your faithfulness, destroy them. I will offer you a free will sacrifice. And praise your name, O Lord, for it is good. For you have rescued me from every trouble, and my eye has seen the ruin of my foes. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, and he is now, and will be forever. Amen. Reading from the Gospel according to John. Jesus and his disciples went into the land of Judea. There he remained with them and baptized. John was also was baptizing at Anon near Selim, because there was much water there. The people came and were baptized, for John had not yet been put in prison. Now a discussion arose between John's disciples and a Jew over purifying. And they came to John and said to him, Rabbi, he who is with you beyond the Jordan, to whom you bore witness, here he is, baptizing, and all are going to him. John answered, No one can receive anything except what is given him from heaven. You yourselves bear me witness that I said, I am not the Christ, but I have been sent before him. He who has the bride is the bridegroom, the friend of the bridegroom, who stands and hears him, rejoices greatly at the bridegroom's voice. Therefore, this joy of mine is now full. He must increase, but I must decrease. He who comes from above is above all. He who is of earth belongs to the earth, and of the earth he speaks. He who comes from heaven is above all. He bears witness to what he has seen and heard, yet no one receives his testimony. He who receives his testimony sets his seal to this, that God is true. For he whom God has sent utters the words of God, for it is not by measure that he gives the spirit. The Father loves the Son and has given all things into his hand. He who believes in the Son has eternal life, but he who does not obey the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God rests upon him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Interval 18. Splendor, honor, and daily power are yours, by Thanks be to God. For you created everything that is by uh, your will that you created that has been. And you are by rights land and slain. With your blood you have redeemed for God. From every land and language, people and nation, kingdom and priests to serve our God. And so as he ends his blood, and his Christ land, he worshiped and praised the name of his father, Rabbi and Believe in God. Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit. The Holy Catholic Church, the meaning of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Lord be with you. And also with you, let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, the thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, and that we forgive those who are asked to give us. And he us not into his temptation, but deliver us from evil. For that is his kingdom and the power and the glory for the grand ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your mercy. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving help among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. No, but the help of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Almighty God, whose blessed Son was led by the Spirit to be tempted by Satan, come quickly to help us who are assaulted by many temptations. And as you know the weaknesses of each of us, let each one find you mighty to save. 
Through Jesus Christ, her Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, you hate nothing you have made, and forgive the sins of all who are penitent. Create and make in us new and contrite hearts, that we, worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our brokenness, may obtain of you the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Lord, we pray for those whose joy has been overtaken by tragedy. Bless them with your encouragement, that they may know your comfort, and guide them as they struggle to take the next steps on their journey in life. Lord, you have taught us that in your Son, the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness can never overcome it. Be with all those whose life is overshadowed by tragedy, or dulled by hopelessness or resignation. Help them to see the light, however small or hidden away, in all that they experience, and help them to know the gentle but powerful support of your love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We pray for your church that throughout this Lent, we would be guided by the promptings of your spirit. God, our inspiration, you call us in the midst of our lives to, to reach out beyond ourselves to new possibilities and fresh hopes. In the journey of this season of Lent, give us the openness to hear what you might be saying to us and the humility to be transformed into our truest selves. Love from all eternity in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. This time I invite your own intercessions and thanksgivings. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God. Father, all mercies, we are every service, give you humble thanks. For all your goodness and all your kindness, we want us to do all we do today. We bless you for our creation and preservation and all the blessings of this life. But above all, for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives. By giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you with the holiness and righteousness of all our days, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom you and the Holy Spirit be all honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen.